Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to you all. I am Shainu and welcome you all to Maths Teleclass Grade 9. In today's lesson, we will be discussing about the sign rule. We will be discussing about the concept and the purpose of sign rule as well as how to state it and use it in various problems to find the missing link of triangles. Before we move on with the lesson, let's just have a quick look at a couple of concepts that we learned related to right angle triangle. So let's have a look at Pythagoras theorem. What is Pythagoras theorem? In any right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of the other two sides. And hypotenuse, what is hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is the longest side of the right angle triangle. And we use Pythagoras theorem to find out the missing side of any right angle triangle. If two sets are given, any third set can be found using Pythagoras theorem. The next concept is trigonometric ratios. There are three basic trigonometric ratios that we have learned. The first one is sine, second is cosine, and third is tangent. And sine of the angle x is a ratio between the opposite and hypotenuse. And cos of x is a ratio between adjacent and hypotenuse. And tan of x is a ratio between opposite and adjacent. All these three trigonometric ratios, we can learn it using a short form, subcarto, which you already are familiar with. The opposite and the adjacent sides will be decided by the given acute angle. So if the angle is given, the opposite side will be the side opposite to it and the remaining side will be termed as adjacent. When the angle changes, the opposite and the adjacent side changes as well. Let me ask you a question. In a triangle, is there any relation between an angle and its opposite side? Let's discuss it with the help of a diagram. In this triangle, an angle is given as 40 degrees. And the side opposite to the angle, the length of the side is 8 centimeters. So what will happen if the size of the angle increases, meaning if 40 becomes 50 or 60 or 70, what change will happen to the opposite side? Will it increase or decrease? It will increase, right? Definitely it will increase. So as the size of the angle increases, the opposite side increases. And as the angle decreases, the side decreases as well. So there definitely exists a relationship between the side and the angle of any triangle. So now we know that there is a definite relation between an angle and the opposite side of a triangle. Sine rule describes the relationship between the angle and the opposite side of a triangle. And it states that a by sine A is equal to B by sine B equal to C by sine C. So what are those A, B and C? There are like small A, small B and small C there. Now let's see. Sine A is opposite to angle A, meaning an angle is labeled with a capital letter. We all know that. And the side opposite to the angle will be denoted by the small letter A. And the side opposite to angle B will use a small letter B and the side opposite to C will use a small letter C. Now, let's see with the help of an example how we can use the sine rule to find the missing sides of a triangle. In this triangle ABC, we have two sets of values, a 44 degree angle and the side 8 cm which is opposite to it, a 64 degree angle and a side marked with X opposite to it. Now, let's write the first statement using the sine rule x divided by sine 64 is equal to 8 divided by sine 44. x divided by sine of the opposite angle, which is 64, is equal to 8 centimeter divided by sine of its opposite angle, 44. The next step is cross multiplication. x multiplied with sine 44 will be equal to 8 multiplied by sine 64. Now, in order to find x, we need to remove sine 44 from the left side. For that, we can divide sine 44, both sides. 
So sin 44 will get cancelled. And the next statement will be x is equal to 8 times sin 64 divided by sin 44. And you can evaluate this with the help of your calculator. Just multiply 8 times sin 64 divided by sin 44. And the answer will be 10.3509. Now let's read the question once again. Use sign rule to calculate the side mark with the letter and give your answer correct to three significant figures. So this answer that you got from your calculator should be rounded off to three significant figures as the final answer. Therefore, when we do that, the final answer for this question will be the length of AC, which is x centimeter, is equal to 10.4 centimeters. Let's go to the second example. Now here, we have two sets of values once again. We have a 40 degree angle and an 8 centimeter opposite to it and a 30 degree angle and x is labeled opposite to it. So the proper first statement here will be x divided by sine 30 is equal to 8 divided by sine of the opposite angle 40. Now the next step, cross multiplication. x multiplied by sine 40 is equal to 8 times sine 30. So to remove sine 40, we divide it from both the sides. Therefore, x is equal to 8 times sine 30 divided by sine 40. And the answer that you get will be 6.2229. And since it is given in the question, we have to round this up to three significant figure. Therefore, the final answer will be x is equal to 6.22 centimeters. Let me take you to one more example. Here, in this triangle ABC, we have an angle 47 degree and the corresponding opposite side, it is 7.2 centimeter and the unknown side to be found is labeled C, but we don't have corresponding opposite angle. So, how do we find angle C? To find angle C, we can use the angle sum property. The sum of angles in any triangle will add up to 180 degree. So angle C can be found by this. Angle C is equal to 180 minus the sum of the remaining two angles, which is 47 and 72. So 180 minus of 47 plus 72 is equal to 61. Now that we have angle C, we can proceed with the sign rule. So the first statement, therefore, will be C divided by sine of the opposite angle. Now we got the angle, the size of the angle is 61. So C by sine 61 is equal to 7.2 divided by sine 47. And as always the next statement is the cross multiplication. So C multiplied by sine 47 is equal to 7.2 times sine 61. And to find C, eliminate sine 47, meaning divide sine 47 on both sides. Therefore C will be equal to 7.2 times sine 61 divided by sine 47. So the answer is 8.6104 and we have to round it up to three significant figures therefore the final answer will be C is equal to 8.61 centimeters. So here is an exercise. It contains six questions. You can apply sign rule there to find the unknown sides and remember to give your answer correctly to three significant figures. Before we wind up, let's just recall what we learned in today's lesson. So the sine rule is a relationship between the sides and the opposite angles of a triangle. And sine rule states that A by sine A is equal to B by sine B is equal to C by sine C. And today we learned to find the missing side of a triangle using sine rule. In the next class, we'll be learning to find the missing angles using sign. Thank you and have a nice day.